Welcome back to The Great Expanse by JohnBab426 here on YouTube. So glad you guys could join me. This is going to be a quick, brief video. If you've liked the videos that you've seen thus far, hit the like button. If you didn't like them, hit the dislike button. Share these videos with people that like comic, comic book related material such as this. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications all. So the next video that's dropped, you will know about it second. I will know about it voice. I'm almost getting it down to one breath. I'm sure you guys don't want to hear advertisements for the channel. Okay? So this is about... And part in the noise in the back, that's the radiator. We don't want to freeze here in the city of brotherly love during the winter, so bear with it. Now, this is about the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. And my notes are off to the side, so if I'm looking off, it's not because I'm disinterested, but for some reason, I just didn't want to be looking down at the computer while I'm addressing, you know, the camera. All right, so, and um, I took notes of the holiday special. I said I wasn't going to watch it. And I said that I was turned off from watching it because of how bad Thor Love and Thunder is. But I gave it a chance. Okay. And as I expected, it's lighthearted. Uh, it's whimsical. This is, and I, I like whimsical stuff. I like lighthearted stuff. I, I especially love Christmas kind of stuff. I love, I'm a sucker for Christmas. Okay. And there are moments in the holiday special where kind of like, you know, a little tug. You know what I mean? A few tugs. Because, uh, you know, as I get older, I'm just more appreciative of, you know, family gatherings and collections of people, groups, and friends. That, that's just a little bit of transparency. So, critiquing the episode is very goofy. Not really whimsical. Not really a lot of charm to it. Not, not no real Christmas magic except in a couple of moments. And the idea is that Mantis and Drax notice Peter sulking in nowhere because Yandu bought nowhere from the Collector. Now, I thought the Collector was dead. I thought Thanos, like, in Infinity War. And that's how he got the uh, Power Stone. Not the Power Stone, uh, whatever stone, the, the Ether, whatever the Ether represented. And uh, I don't remember what it was in uh, Thor the Dark World. It'll appear here which stone it was. But, you know, nowhere was, like, in ruins. It was on fire. I thought he killed the Collector. Maybe the Collector disappeared or, you know, vamoosed. So, now nowhere is decorated like a, a Christmas town. Well, no, no, it wasn't decorated like a Christmas town, but it looked like an old West town. And basically, it just looked like a studio with a bunch of actors dressed up in goofy alien garb. All right? So, anyway, back to the point of the story. Mantis and Drex... They want to cheer Peter up because they can tell that he's still sad about Gamora being gone. And I honestly thought that it was possible to get a hint of Gamora's whereabouts while still being a lighthearted special. Like, I thought there could there could be a point to this special. So, Drax and Mantis reason, you know, with those two, reason is a very fluid subject, that he will only feel better unless the legendary Kevin Bacon, yes, the actor, is brought to Peter as a gift. So they go to Earth, hijinks ensue, uh, typical Marvel fashion, not a lot of thinking involved, or as I called it, the brain cell deadening of Disney. So they secure Kevin Bacon, they take him to nowhere where the Guardians are stationed. Groot has a practical suit, Rhymes. <laughs> Group. Suit. Uh, does it work? Maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't. I just don't really have a, a huge opinion of it right now. Rather than Group being CGI rendered. Uh, Rocket is in it for just a little bit. Uh, there's more Kraglin than any of the other Guardians. Nebulas in it for a few lines. So, eventually, you know, as you kind of foresaw, Kevin Bacon was going to be freaked out when he realized he was on Nowhere. Because Mantis, you know, does the whole, you want to come with us, you know, the Jedi mind trick. So, he's enjoying it, and then uh, Star-Lord Peter Quill says, all right, take the spell off. So, he's, like, freaking out. And then, you know, when Kraglin explains to him their purpose, Mantis and Drax's purpose of bringing Kevin Bacon to Nowhere... Kevin Bacon calls Kira Sedgwick, who I wanted to see. I wanted to see Kira in the cameo. But you just saw her name on the phone, the phone ID. And Kevin Bacon says, you know what? These people have to know what Christmas is about, so I'm going to be a little late for Christmas. So he's singing with the old 97s, the uh, rock group. And that's about it. Nebula 
gives Rocket Raccoon Bucky's vibranium arm. And see, you can't do that with me. Like, I, I think too much. How did they get the arm? Why? <laughs> you know, just, just for a gift for Rocket, just like an Easter egg, like, hey, remember that? It's not very funny. It's, it's, it's more stupid than funny. And immediately I was thinking the Justice League animated episode Comfort and Joy is a thousand times better than this. There's this, a story that's still pushed forward in that standalone episode because Hawk Girl and Green Lantern John Stewart get closer. So it's still pushing a story forward. There's still character development involved. Now, Martian Manhunter, he's invited to Christmas at the uh, Kent Farm in Smallville by Superman so that he wouldn't be alone. It's charming. And it's not stupid or goofy. Hawk Girl and Green Lantern, they go off-world. They go to an alien planet, get into a bar fight. And it, it's, it's still more magical th than this special. Uh, Ultra Humanite. I think he escaped from prison and Flash invited the Humanite to... Uh, do something charitable for this orphanage so ultra humanite in the flash they come and they give this this toy dj rubber ducky to these orphans and it tells them a story afterwards ultra humanite goes back to prison and he's given an aluminum tree by flash and it is more touching more heartfelt and more heartwarming than this and this thing the uh, comfort and joy justice league episode was made like 16 years ago or more i'm like why does marvel Marvel Disney constantly have to use like brain dead shtick and just footloose insanity to be lighthearted. Lighthearted shouldn't be lightheaded. You know what I mean? And was this unbearable? Was it nauseating? No, it wasn't. But but it just it just makes you wonder like this is how you tie the bow on Marvel's face for. I, I, I don't think it was a great idea. And like I said, the two heartwarming scenes is when they have the song, you know, Christmas time has come, toys for everyone. All right. So that music is playing in uh, Star-Lord. It's like, I'm, I'm getting emotional. Sorry. I'm thinking about it. It's like looking around and like the, the Christmas lights, the whole town, town is there. And like Mantis, for some reason that got me. I don't know why. And uh, the part where she reveals that she's his sister was a little heartwarming as well. So those two moments kind of tugged at the heartstrings. It's hard to talk about for some reason. I told you I'm a softie as I get older. But overall, it's like... Alright, this is it. Marvel has all the resources to make things really special. You know what I mean? And this holiday special wasn't very special except for those two moments which didn't last that long so so that's what it is it's like it's like a it's like a disappointment that with all this technology all this money all these resources you you basically blow an opportunity to blow people's minds you know without super special effects but just in telling just a heartwarming story you know what i mean so uh the opening sequence is animated sort of in the style of eight crazy nights or bill burr's the f word i think those are kind of similar an animation styles so it wasn't unbearable but if i had to choose between this guardians of the galaxy holiday special and the justice league episode comfort and joy i'll go with justice league and uh justice league comfort and joy all right but maybe the children will like this maybe the whole family will think it's funny and maybe you can watch it while you're opening presents and stuff all right well, this has been The Great Experience by John Bat 426 So glad you guys are tuning in to these videos. Thank you for sharing them. Thank you for watching. Thank you that the channel is growing. Check out the community tab. If there's a poll up, not a stripper poll, but a P-O-L-L up, please comment. Please participate so we can become an interactive community. And The Great Experience by John Bat 426 can expand. It's in the name. See you next time.